Welcome. This is Alistair Noct. I'd like to send a hello and satanic blessings to all of the Magnum Opus Satanic Coven members worldwide. You are always in my thoughts, and I send you much love. Today, in 2011, I published a book called Wasted Faith. This book is, for me, a culmination of thoughts about established religion. While it is mostly directed at the overall Christian belief, it can very well stand for other belief systems as well. Throughout history, humans, especially those that are in power, have always abused their subjugates the ones they are supposed to govern and protect. This, over time, makes everyone apprehensive, cold, and full of hate and rage. We see these events today. While I don't like to discuss politics, and will not in this video, I will say that everyone should think very seriously about how they want their country to be governed. I had a question from a viewer, and I wanted to expand upon what was being asked. The question was just simply, can we as theistic Satanists love one another? Can we love people outside of our belief system? Obviously, this question is one that could be raised in other areas of the left-hand path. For us as theistic Satanists, our life calling is about optimum life experience. Now, the things that enrich our lives are going to be different for each person. Happiness looks different for every person on the face of this earth. It's going to be up to you as an individual to decide what happiness and what your optimum life experience looks like. We jealously guard our individuality. However, we do not want to exclude ourselves from the good things in life. And when I say good things, I do not mean religious things. This has nothing to do with religion. It never has, and it never will. Even for those that are caught up in the quagmire of established religion today, their life experience is being formed and expected through conformance. Other established religions demand conformance. You must bathe in the river Ganges. You must have a circumcision. You have certain dietary requirements. You must observe certain days of the week that you can't work and on and on and on, etc., etc. We as theistic Satanists throw off this chain of dogma. We do not recognize it. If it is good to us and it conforms to our optimum life experience, then it is good. Is love good? Absolutely. To love and to be loved is a very important part of my life. But that is my optimum life experience. And it may not be yours. And it's not a requirement that you love one another. There are some things that make sense. And there are things that do not make sense to most people. For instance, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Fits my life really well. That is because I like to be treated a certain way, and I believe others like to be treated a certain way. Does this make me religious? No. 
Does it make me righteous? Maybe. But that is a byproduct of what I believe and what makes my optimum life experience. We are all different. We all accept and reject things based on our personal preference. We make value judgments every day, and that's not a bad thing. Some things are repulsive to me as an individual, and perhaps to you as well. There is a reason why humans have a gag reflex. However, there are some things that are good. And we as theistic Satanists are not the anti-good belief system. There are good foods, good relationships, etc. And we are not to disclude ourselves. If you dismiss all things based upon their adoption by established religion, you risk isolating yourself. This path is solitary only because people come and go, but it is not a requirement that you isolate yourself, and it is not a requirement that you suffer by eliminating those things in your life that you like. Love is a powerful emotion, and it is good. It is good for the optimum life experience for me. It may not be for you, and that is your choice. That is your preference. That is the way that you should approach your optimum life. A solitary lifestyle without relationships and without love is not a requirement for a theistic Satanist. We do not have established dogmas where you must forbid yourself from indulging in those things that bring you pleasure. There's no reason to do that. And you certainly should evaluate the organizations and the relationships that you find yourself in that forbid certain things in association with certain people. It's not a requirement of theistic Satanism. However, there are some groups on the left-hand path that make these things requirements. They become deeply embedded in the fabric of the organization. I know people that have reached out to me from other organizations that they are leaving that have absolutely taken all of the happiness and joy from the individual. In their words, they had to pay a membership fee and they got nothing but ridicule and heartache in return. These groups turn into cults and these cults are self-governing to the point where members spy on other members and report to the leadership. They are expelled from the organization for whatever reasons. And there are a lot of good videos out there that explain this. And these are organizations operating currently today. That is not the way that we approach life as theistic Satanists. If you like being alone, that's your preference, but it's not a requirement. If you want to partake in a coven, which gives me a lot of joy and satisfaction and love, then you can do that. There's no reason why you cannot. Now you must be smart about your choices, but that is a topic for another day. You do not have to lock yourself away because love and joy are things that I enjoy in my life and our coven members enjoy those things as well. We are not sulking, sitting around, wearing all black all the time, and taking on a persona of anti-good. That is not who we are as magnum opus coven members. That is not our optimum life experience. Life is what you make it, and acceptance is based upon what you will accept. As I said before, not everything is for everybody. And that should not be ridiculed. 
by anyone. Your life is only judged by you. And if you find love and hope, to be things that improve your spirit and improve your overall mental health and optimize your life experience, then that is all of the approval that you need in life. You choose no matter what your circumstance. Sometimes difficulties come into your life, but they make you stronger and you will develop the skills that you need to cope with the bad times, and it's not always easy. But in my case, this is the life I have chosen. This is the path that I walk. This is my journey, and it has been very self-rewarding for me. So while some people may debate theology, they may debate certain dogmas that are attached with a belief system, in my life, less is more. Don't worry about the current state of things. Do not let these things steal your happiness and your joy. I certainly hope you got something from this message. Until next time, this has been Alistair Nacht. Ave Satanas.